So I needed to refill my mermaid spray and my brow growth serum. So I thought I would just videotape it because I've had a lot of people ask me like, oh, that just seems so hard. How do you do it? And making your own potions with essential oils and other products is super easy. So I thought I would just film it and show you super easy. It's a great, like affordable way of having pr certain products that actually work. So for the mermaid spray, this is a hair growth spray. And it also makes your hair just shiny and more full. Um, I'm also noticing that I don't have to wash my hair as much because it seems to absorb the oils and I'm getting like a little lift with it. It is recommended to do twice a day, to be honest. I'm only doing it at night because I really don't know because there is really no excuse other than me being lazy. But it is recommended twice a day. I've only been doing it once a day in the evening. I am noticing results. I'm sure if I did it twice a day, it would be twice as good. Um, so you need a glass bottle. I get mine off of Amazon, but you can find them pretty much anywhere. So you are going to need rosemary, lavender, and cedarwood essential oils. So you're gonna need 10 of each. So you just drop 10 in the bottle. And then you are going to get distilled water and fill it up. And that's it. I have a little funnel that I put in there to fill it up. It makes it easier because I tend to be kind of messy. Um, but this isn't needed. So then you're going to take your spray, mix it up, and then you're going to focus on the roots if you're wanting like hair growth to happen. So the hair grows from the root. It's a lot of people think that hair grows, you know, it starts down here and then grows, but it grows from the root out. Actually, your hair, all of this is dead hair. So when a lot of people say, oh, I want all my dead ends taken off. Well, technically you want me to shave it because this is all dead hair. So just focus on the roots because that's where you want the hair growth to happen. Also, when I need to wash my hair and it's a little oily, I kind of spray it everywhere because it does absorb those oils. I'm also noticing that I get a little bit of lift through here and it could just be my wavy hair kind of reactivating it when I get it wet. Um, but those are just a couple things that I've noticed. And then you can spray it through the ends because it does add shine and it just makes your hair feel like awesome. I've had a lot of my blonde clients ask me, does this change the color of your hair? And I, from my personal experience, I have not seen a shift in any hair color while using this. Um, so I'm a huge fan of this. I, gosh, I should write the date on this of when I made it to see how long it lasts. But just, I would probably say this bottle with doing it once a day probably is like two or three months. Um, so it's a super affordable way to have your hair growth. Um, and I'm noticing, um, I've only been doing it ugh, maybe since January, and I noticed that I have a lot of my receding hairline growing in, and it just feels like little stubbles growing. So when you start this, you know, a way to know if it is actually working is if you start feeling like little stubbles growing, which is super cool. Like this section has filled in quite a bit, um, I kind of got light from the sun recently, but I'm loving this. So the brow growth serum is the same ingredients, but instead of water, you're going to use some type of oil. So I like using fractionated coconut oil for this. You can also use castor oil, which I am out of, but castor oil is really great for hair growth as well. Um, but you can use jojoba oil. It's not recommended to use olive oil because olive oil has a very distinct scent, so it might interfere with your oils, but you could technically use it because it is an oil and it has that slip. So, but I love using coconut oil. This guy I like a lot because it has a super awesome squirt top that you can put directly into the roller bottle. So once again, I got this glass roller bottle at, on Amazon and it comes with like this nifty tool to take the roller bottle off. I don't know why I'm having so much issue. So I am like about there on it, but since I have all my ingredients out, I thought I would just fill it back up. 
but you're gonna take gosh like 10 to 15 drops of each oil and put it in and you can make this with any essential oils like if you're looking for I don't know anything like a sleep roller a happy roller a headache roller any type of things this is basically the same concept of putting the oils in and then filling it with some type of oil substance. So then I'm gonna do lavender. And if you're feeling like, you know, wow, the, the 10 drops of each oil in here um, is too strong for me, which I, I'm really sensitive to smell, but none of this stuff bothers me because it's not synthetic. But let's say if you are sensitive to it, maybe only put five drops in. Like you can experiment, just don't maybe give up on it right away. Like if you're feeling like, oh, it's, it's too strong. So some oils are thicker than others and will take longer to come out. Um, cedar wood's a little bit thicker than the other ones. And it's okay if you get a couple drops more or a couple drops less than like 10 to 15. It's you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're just gonna take your oil of your choice and then just fill it up. I just like how this one just fits in there nicely. And then you're gonna put your roller top back on. And then you shake it up. And this one lasts me, I only do this once a day too at night. Um, it, this one probably lasts me like two months. So then I sit there and roll it on my brows and because I want my brows to fill in and get like whiter, I am going outside of my brow line. And I, when I first started this, I just let my brows go because I wanted them to be like thick. And then after a couple months, I reshaped them um, versus if you're just putting it on and things are growing and you're removing stuff, it kind of... I don't know, it's, I feel like it's gonna take you longer to get to get to that end result. So you might just have to suffer through having kind of bushy wild brows for a while and then you can start kind of taming them back and reshaping them. Um, so, but I've noticed huge difference. I used to have patches through these guys, especially right through here and it's not that much and I do have to trim them because they do get really long and I'm noticing that it's getting thicker. Um, and I am going to do kind of like a bigger trim on them next week um like a wax on them and then also color them because I'm noticing that with all this new growth my brows are actually a lot blonder than I thought um and they have some grays in them too so I'm going to color them so I'm excited to see the you know a darker color on them and actually to have like a thicker brow so that is what I'm doing for hair growth you can also use these same oils um, oils and the coconut oil or whatever for a lash serum. I have not ordered like little mascara wands or the little, I don't know, small brushes to put on like your lash line. Um, I don't know why I haven't, but I just haven't. So, but I'm excited to do that because I, because I've seen results other places, hair growth. And I've also heard that putting it on your lashes is amazing to get things growing. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm so excited to hear people's results when they're using oils. So let me know how your brows are doing it for the people that have been experimenting for it and with it for a while. All right. Bye-bye.